How is everyone doing? Ah, I, we got some people from Prime Rating here, right? Hey, Thomas. Hey. Huh? Oh, shit, I just doxed you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already doxed. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Travis. Travis and now there. Welcome, so nice to have you in this call. Hi. Hi. Glad to be here. Nice to see you all. See you all. Yeah. When are you coming to the hub? <laughs> uh, no international travel planned anytime soon. Um, still kind of getting reoriented after the market instability. So uh, TBD, I don't know. I'd really like to get there soon, but no plans yet. Yeah, I totally get it. Is everyone doing fine? Is everyone too wrecked? <laughs> Everyone's wrecked. Anyone wrecked? <laughs> anyone wrecked? Because it's been tough. But we're, we're in here together. Like, uh, it's, everything's uh, it's just a moment. Things yeah. go up, things go down. Yeah, for me, it's not so much of an economic thing as much as a cultural thing. A lot of the projects that I've been working on suddenly um, evaporated um, and like, you know, for various organizations, they just couldn't be justified anymore. I think that's because I intentionally put myself into a position where I take on particularly philosophically heady projects. <laughs> so I'm not very surprised. Um, but yeah, it requires uh, some reorientation. You know, there's a lot of belt tightening and a lot of like going lean right now. And it's like, um, you know, like in American school systems, the music program is the first thing to get cut. The art program is the first thing to get cut. But it's like we can't, if we're just prioritizing for this extreme optimization and, you know, not acknowledging the importance of human culture that we're coordinating for, then it's like, where's the soul um, in, in these desperate times? That's, it's just something I'm personally trying to figure out, meditate on, figure out what comes next. Maybe that means more involvement in the Taoist. I don't know. Yeah, like uh, it's like how do we try to change the uh, the mindset? The culture is a basic human right. Like we humans need culture to live, just like we need water. We we also need music. We need to see with art. Like we. Yeah. So Travis, if the if the music program is the first to go. Uh, the Taoist is the queer glee club, my friend. Sure, fuck, queer, fuck to the half. <laughs> but uh, the beauty of all the music, philosophy, culture, underfunded uh, proclivities of humanity is maybe perhaps one of the reasons that they will keep going underfunded is that people will do them just the same. While they're alive, they will do it. I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree. Um... I think we need it now more than ever. And uh, it's, it's a different ethos, though. I don't think it's, you know, like people are saying, now is the time to build. And I wonder how we're all associating to that call. Um, I, think, I think now is a time maybe for some existential building, for cultural building in a different way that isn't just upwards it's like now is not the time to be building mega structures now is the time to be nomadic to be remembering like provisionality and agility and yeah to remain to stretch to breathe to remain limber and flexible um we'll always need a music program <laughs> <laughs> With, uh, I, I'm also I'm part of a record label though. I mean, they're a record label, but they're starting a DAO project as well. And people we from Living Records, Los Angeles, and yeah, we like we we have plans like in the next couple of months to start uh, integrating a bit more art into the DAOs and in uh, maybe with some Twitter spaces like have. Getting together, getting people together that are uh, rethinking the way, uh, like 
kind of the music business work, not not in a way that it's a business, but more like how we can pair this together and create bigger networks of people uh, around the world. So if you, also if you want to talk about these things, uh, I'm I'm super interested to hear more. That is really insightful what you're saying. Yeah, I'm I'm personally very interested. Um, I also operated a, a a label for many years. Um, not related to Web3 or NFTs or DAOs or anything like that. Actually, cassette tapes. <laughs> um, so I have a, a lot of ideas, opinions, inspirations as far as that goes. I'd love to jam on it. So I guess we have a lot to talk about. Uh, does anyone that is not me want to talk a bit about the house? Maybe it's Francisca. So we, we, have, we have a... a, a what about we share the screen? Yeah, we prepared a few slides to, just to have a <laughs> little basic structure for us to like... We had, there's a lot to cover. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we already kind of started talking about this naturally. How are we? <laughs> how are yeah. We, how, yeah, how's, how's everyone feeling about all of these things happening? Um, I don't know. Yeah. If, if someone would like to do this natural check-in, please just uh, share. How do you feel? How are you? Yeah, let's let's do that. But also, if you don't feel sharing, that we can move. I mean, honestly, for me, it, it's it's like <laughs> I feel the vibes of like the whole uh, ecosystem going down and like everyone getting depressed and everything. And like I, it, it's hitting on me, but it's not like I, I didn't get personally that much affected because you know, like I don't have a, a lot of money invested in all that. But um, yeah, there's a lot happening in crypto Twitter. I'm just trying to get, like not <laughs> get sucked too much into it and um, yeah, be more on the constructive side of things. Yeah, it feels like. Yeah, I mean, I'm not collecting. I can eat, so I'm I'm quite excited. I have a bunch more eat now. Yeah. But I honestly think it's gonna get worse. Not financial advice, but I still think we haven't seen the end of it. That's what they're saying, right? This is not the this is not the valley. They're still going down. Yeah. yeah so by the way, this uh, this call it's uh, hundred percent open. Like we're free to open our mics and share. Just, just a reminder. Like, don't. Uh, um, be shy. <laughs> it's okay to be shy, but it's also okay to to talk, even if you're shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay to be shy, and it's okay to be not shy. Um. All right, maybe we slowly move to the announcements. And the first announcement is by Gamma. So yeah, the, it's actually been live for a while. Like, I mean, I've been feeling this super alive for a couple of months already. But I, right now, it's really like the time we're like, we're too ready to host uh, more ambitious uh, residencies and more group of people. And having people here coming every day to work uh, and using the hub for what it's made for, for us to co-create and collaborate. So if anyone is passing by Lisbon or have plans to uh, yeah, have plans to to pass by Lisbon, uh, hit us up to part of the community, come here, visit the space. Have a call with us for us to to align, but every like it's, it's tends to be super open. So um, also we're opening the residency program. Is this the next slide, or should I just keep talking? Yeah, it's the next slide. Okay. Okay. Ah. So yeah, the, the website is live. Uh, everything you need to know. It's about the hub business website, uh, information about the residency program, which I was just going to talk about, is the, well, so you can come here to visit and co-work, but also uh, uh, people, not only the ministries and ambassadors, which are uh, the funders and governance of this house, uh, can, not only they can propose things, we, like we, the community, can propose activities, we can uh, propose presidency we can okay i want to get a bunch of like uh law people together and 
put them together with uh, DAO people. I want to uh, put some artists and coder in the same same space for a week and see what happens. Uh, this kind of things can totally happen for this. So it's a multi-directional, multidisciplinary collaboration space. So ideas are welcome there. Uh, we usually we appreciate a lot if the ideas came come like there are not the usual residencies, but they come a little bit uh, polished, uh, but not too polished. So we can also work on this together. So yeah, it's here. We're live, and we also had uh, some people from some prime rating coming here. Uh, last month and it was lovely um if anyone wants to share a bit what they what they experienced in the um, in their residency and time here people spend a week working on this on as i have some feedback issues but hey frame rating folks come come here to share a bit what do you have if you if you would like to what, what you experienced here in the hub? <laughs> the, the, uh, the only one left, actually. Um, but yeah, it was super cool. Um, I think, personally for me, was most fun is just that you meet different people and that you then uh, cross-connect um, with other projects and can talk to them, see how they're thinking about issues. And I think that gives you then a uh, perspective on how you want to potentially tackle things or challenge your perspective and i think that's in general super valuable and i mean it's a nice place uh the, i don't i don't know what the the right term is but the og staff <laughs> is obviously very nice uh, too um i don't know if you can say staff but yeah i think everyone gets what i'm saying and yeah, it was quite, I think it was also for prime rating, really valuable. We, I don't know if anyone is following rating, but we got a lot of new energy and new, a uh, lot new alignment, a lot of stuff uh, happening since the actual um, the retreat. Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's cool. It was the first time you met in person, right? Oh, some of us. I mean, I met Lavi before yeah. a couple of times. Um, but yeah, with Mike and Anna Lee, yeah, it was the first time actually that I, I saw them in person. Um, what would you recommend some... people? <laughs> Sorry, say again. I didn't quite. Yeah, yeah. Catch. What, what would you recommend people who are about to schedule a residency at MetaHub? Like, would you give them some advice? I mean, it's, it depends really um, what you want to do there, right? Like, um, as you mentioned, it's a super open space. I think just in general, maybe this is also just a general practice, uh, is make uh, some plans beforehand um, of what you want to achieve. And then also have a really a schedule planned out for, for the days you're there. With maybe also planning for exploration or fun time. Sometimes it can get unstructured, but um, I think that's more general advice, not specific to the uh, Meta Hub. Thanks for sharing. Oh yeah, the video. <laughs> so this is another thing that um, um, teams that go into the Hub uh, will have, like documentation in video. Like we interviewed uh, Thomas and, and, and Lavi and a few of the others in the, in the team and created this little after movie of, of their residency. And this is something to be expected by other residencies coming in into the spot as well. So we can hit play there. For the first time, as 
the Prime Reading team seeing each other for the first time in general. I think overall it was really worth being here the full time and not and also sleeping here, you know, and not just um, meeting here for like a couple of hours and then everybody goes their separate ways again, but actually also having the chance to discuss things over a beer after work or during the during lunch, during dinner. So what is Prime Rating Team working on right now? We are thinking about how can we structure the permissionless or the currently still somewhat permissioned rating process and how can we restructure it in a permissionless way. I mean the environment is super great so like jumping in the pool or just sitting outside like having lunches outside it's amazing. Art and pottery so you will also be able to um, cultivate your cultural and um, artsy side, which is pretty cool. So, okay, it's so, uh, some pictures, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. This is an internal office, usually, like usually for the hub operations. This is the main co-working space. Um, right now, like we have uh, two tables, quite also a good space for getting together. There are some parts outside as well. Like from here, you have like the, this door, it goes to the balcony. Um, yeah, this balcony. And uh, there are also some small tables you can work there in the underlong. So, uh, the media lab for, well, creating media and also interviews. Uh, anything you want to record, this is the place. And we have uh, Christina, who is just here with me right now, mounting a TV stand. <laughs> so it's uh, our video video overlord at the house. It's been recording everyone, getting every little moment. So, okay. Yeah, yeah we have a good pool. <laughs> yeah. I just added the uh, new areas that uh, that we didn't highlight before. Mm. So yeah, some of this is still like ske sketches, but they're they're coming together slowly. I think the essential, what is essential, everything is functional, but this is a new we'll put in in the last few weeks. Oh, so, ah yeah, Barcelona. We're going to Barcelona, some of us, right? You're going right, Inga? Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, about the Taoist, uh, about the collaboration of the Taoist and Eat Barcelona, uh, we are curating two blocks uh, of content on day two and uh, on day three. Yeah, uh, also important information to know. Could you please uh, click to another slide, Kama? Yeah, so... This is a this is a small alpha leak about uh, the program. The official program hasn't been published yet, and uh, we were trying really hard to to put cool people people together. For example, for the reward systems galore panel uh, should be interesting, and uh, the general outline uh, is I could say fascinating. Yeah, so if you haven't got the ticket, but really want to go and uh, you're planning everything <laughs> or not planning everything for the last day, uh, yeah, keep an eye on our Twitter because we're going to give away 10 tickets for Eat Barcelona in our Twitter uh, a week before the event. So nice is coming. I'm so happy. Oh, big news. Boom. Boom. Yeah, so uh, 
it does feel that uh, now is not the best moment to announce uh, <laughs> to announce anything like new events. Uh, yeah, but uh, we're planning to run um, Taoist uh, Bogota. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be the biggest Taoist, but now we're we want to do something smaller and uh, concentrate on creating public goods and uh, really creating more content, more wisdom, more information that we can share with everyone, not only with the people who will be at the event. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't have more updates about that. And uh, I think we can move to the next slide. Yeah, by the way, if you're going to if you're going to Bogota and you want to collaborate with us, just reach me out and uh, yeah, we're super open. And this slide is uh, for Felipe. Okay, guys, so this is the kind of last warning for don't govern uh, tokens. I've gone around about two weeks ago messaging everyone that has sponsored us in the past and telling them that there is a deadline. So kind of like any airdrop, um, those who don't send their wallets until the 1st of July are going to forfeit their governance tokens in Dona. But the happy news is that it's a very small number of people that are in that situation. And most, well, most of all, the, the tokens have been deployed. So we are going to ramp up the usage of the DAO now. And you can expect a few proposals to hit. The Taoist is going through a process that is both delicious and painful of uh, progressive decentralization and allowing more and more and more autonomy to the verticals, um, which is also a bit hard to do considering market conditions and the fact that we had so many verbally um, agreed sponsorships that comprehensively are now reevaluating. about half of them gave up. So if you know organizations that are good matches, I go, now, I admit, I only invited like 14 organizations. It's not like we're hitting everyone up because we're not, we don't want to sell governance, right? Um, so we're going through all of this um, internal um, reflections and meditations to understand how it's going to change our our race strategy. Um, but yeah, it's not looking amazing, expect, like, I think not unsurprisingly. And so a few things are going to hit up on in um, the coming weeks. Um, how are we going to reprice our sponsorship packages? Um, how are we going to re-understand the role of the core token uh, and to create new tokens and we are also going to probably use dawn to find out a little bit where we sh if and where and how big should we create something some event between now and bogota that's pretty far away this and other uh, issues are gonna come up so if you're in the call and you're wondering um if you have a token. If your token arrived, you can check the Governing Dawn uh, article that has a spreadsheet link there, and the spreadsheet is up to date, including with the organizations that haven't received their token and are sort of in risk of losing their, their tokens. So that's, those are the Dawn announcements. Okay. Thanks, Felipe. Ah, and the other decision that's important to make in Dawn is how much governance and we're going to give to um, the GGG sponsors, which is an important one because this is a change. That's true. That's another thing that we need to figure out as we as we go. Yeah, I think Kodin is going to put uh, at least uh, a some before the proposal so we can take a look at the setting. I think it's pretty okay. So, uh, is there anything else? And uh, should I let's go to the next slide? Is, is this too confidential? 
I think it was confidential for too long, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we're like, this is final announcement. I just like added this in the last slide there because we've finally been been working on Coordination Junkies, which is this other um, um, series, documentary series of uh, interviews that we started in, um, in Denver, doing it Denver. Um, and the first episode coming out is going to be um, the conversation that we had with uh, Abby um, from from Radical, and um, so yeah, so we're we're going to release this in the next few days, probably next week. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's uh, it's a really interesting conversation. Um, we talk like they, you know go into so many different uh, topics uh, from her experiences with the VC world and, and you know, her, her passions and like, what is the meaning of success and all of that like, jumbled together in a, in a super informal conversation. It, it's, it's really cool. I'm very excited to release it. Yeah, it's informal, but they also can go very deep. Yeah. Like some, I've, I've been watching some of them. So like, especially, uh, well, there's some very good episodes. I'm excited about it. All right. That was it. Now we we have we can talk about whatever we want. <laughs> I I have a question here. Uh, I'm new to the Dallas, and I was just wondering about the house. Is it? <laughs> open for any depth like rent out or you can do hackathons there what's um what's kind of like the main goal uh, i mean yes like anyone can propose activities there uh, obviously the priority is going to be given to the people who have um um already supported the DAOs. there are in more uh uh tied to the community so the sponsors the, the ambassadors and ministries they they get priority over how, how you know proposals of, of how to use the space but ultimately um, the house is there to 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 really, um, yeah, host all sorts of, of of different events. It's very it's very open in that sense. We don't we uh, decided to purposefully not pigeonhole it, not predefine it too much, so that the community can you know come up with ideas and and that's why we we're trying to keep this also super relational. Um, you if you go into the website and you go like okay i want to do something there you you you're redirected to a calendly uh, page so we set up you set up set up a call directly uh, with the, with the team and we discuss one on one like what uh, what is the idea how we how we can help make it the the most you know uh, fruitful the most helpful um yeah it was worthwhile. Yes, that sounds good. Sounds good. Like a DAO safe space. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a little safe haven for for DAOs to explore um, and to meet each other. It's it's it also doesn't have to be like super pragmatic, super you know like I'm there to just do this thing. It, it can be like uh, something more lighthearted. Like I I want to work from there and meet some people there. You know, so it goes from <laughs> one to the other. Yeah, gatherings can be open ended as well. Uh, and and by the way, the website uh, is the Taoist.co slash MetaHub. If you miss it, you can access from our main page as well. So I got oh. <laughs> there's some uh, TV uh, TV rack being built. <laughs> This is the second TV, right? Because I know that there's a TV in the in the co-working room as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is this is the room being built right now. So just yeah, it's some half of. Christina didn't want to comment the call, but to be honest, yeah. Hi, Christina. I'm building. I didn't realize. Guys, can you imagine? Wow, congrats! Nice. I did play Lego, but. <laughs> Christina is the video overload of the house. She, she makes video for everyone. And now she... Did you meet? Yeah, many people were in the... Ah, yeah, Christina was in, in, in Amsterdam, but not everyone that is here is in Amsterdam, I guess. So, Chica is upstairs. So, yeah, this room is going to be like starting to be like, become the, like cozy. 
Um, it's called the space or also we can have uh, facilitations and round like round tables with no tables, just <laughs> round conversations. And yeah, the, and also it has some weird furniture that uh, like me and uh, me and Loie, one of the elders got when, when we were here, basically. So we're actually very, very proud of the weird things we bought. Not everyone likes them, but I, I think it's not the purpose of this of a DAO house for everyone to like everything. Like, yeah, every, it's, all the it's time. a place right, to explore, so. uh, healthily explore divergence as well, right? <laughs> that, that goes to the, the art direction of the space to like discussing all things DAO, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, does anyone have uh, any more questions, anything they want to share about the set, what they, like, I mean, we're, uh, I'm super, actually, like, really curious to get to know you all. Yeah, do, do we, do we have some new, new people around, if they want to introduce themselves as well, this, this would be nice. Is there any, like, public event happening, like, at uh, the house? <laughs> Some like open day for like all sort of visitors or I think it should be. <laughs> At some point I think I think we should do some open yeah. days. The very so it's like, there's like many events and like every Wednesday is like something somewhere and every Friday would be cool if there could be something on a Tuesday or Thursday or any day. Yeah, yeah there's a good event. events, so from the house. We're still trying to figure out uh, what's going to be the format because uh, um, we still want to keep this house more like, you know, like a creative sanctuary and less like all the people come over and uh, drink beer here. <laughs> yeah, but I guess we have another thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, anyone so. that is part of the Davos community, like yeah. it's and scholar already part of the community, so uh, and just yeah, uh, if you hold a delegate token, if you hold a, a delegate token, you can come anytime. By the way, if anybody doesn't know this, elder delegates and cores uh, come, you can stay over, etc., and co work from there every day. And it's pretty much like we've been around Portugal for a bit, I can tell you, you're not gonna find a better place. <laughs> there isn't. And if you if you find a place that is as good, you're gonna be paying a ridiculous amount of money just to be there. Like, how does one get a delegate token? Or can you guys touch on that? Sponsors of past events and ministries and ambassadors. So the ambassadors have five delegate tokens. Ministries have two delegate tokens each, and the past sponsors have uh, one token each with the governance level that they sponsored. Um, so in total, there should be around like 50 or more delegate tokens out there at the moment. And um, several of the ambassadors are not really using their tokens in any way. So I think there's a cool opportunity for a swaparoo. Um, you know, like maybe you can go, hey, Cello, I want one of your delegate tokens and I'm going to represent your interests in the hub or things like this or at the Dallas. Easy, thank you. And you're also very welcome to participate in the DAO and I want to get to know you and I want to conspire and that's it. Which I can't do right now because I am in Morocco for the suit of uh, weird reasons. But I'll be back soon. When are you coming back? Um, I mean, I'm coming by Russian mail, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, like uh, uh, anyway, we we'll talk about this later. <laughs> yeah, you have an invitation to go to Fusion. It it's gonna be probably arriving uh, this week in your in your email. Very personal, but yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, it's so... season, right? Yeah, just just to make sure you still remember. I do. I do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember the dates, but I, I do remember. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk to. You. So, yeah, that was that was nice hanging out. But I guess uh, we we shared a lot of things already, and 
we had a nice time. Do we wrap, wrap it up? Yeah, I, I mean, think what's yeah. exciting is if you've yeah. been following these calls for a few months, uh, we ran out of promises. <laughs> Everything that we promised in the beginning is, is built. Um, now we just have to start using it as a community. Unfortunately, it's happening at a time where everyone's pretty uh, cognitively challenged by uh, the sensation that bad things are about to happen. But uh, these are the moments to separate the well, the, the oaks from the the bamboos. Or I guess both are good. I like oaks and bamboos. But I mean, these are the moments that teach us that it's our choice to be victims or to just realize that it doesn't really change our life's purpose if the amount of available resources is x y or z we we can adjust because i've been through this a couple of times i'm terrified but if you do need like a little bit of tough tough mentoring and also something that might make you feel a little bit better come to the hub while we're around and Worst case scenario, at least you can drink a beer and take a swim. And get a tan. If you come. Well, it depends, <laughs> depends on your genetic makeup. Like, I, I, Portuguese sun, I, I need to have a lot of free time to get tanned in Portugal. But if you're, if you're Caucasian, it might work. Yeah, it isn't that strong. <laughs> uh, Yes, that was it. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Uh, we're going to be doing this again, uh, prob probably one month or so, uh, when, we have, um, or when we have a lot of more updates to share. Probably more info about Barcelona is going to come soon. And so, yeah. if, you, if you want to not have to remember all the links and everything that was mentioned, it's a good idea to sign up to the newsletter because it just comes all chewed and digested in an email. And also maybe uh, follow us on Twitter because one of the good sides of uh, having built all the things is that now all the effort that we spent like building the DAO, building the house, it's going to turn into content, educational material, things for the ministers and ambassadors and all the things that we that are a bit more delicious to make than just uh, mounting TV stands. Yeah, I still, I still want to be, I still want to have time to play with the pottery, with the, with the, in, in the, uh, in the art garage. Like I see you guys playing there a lot, and I'm, yeah. Um, yeah. You're gonna need these, to work. These are, work these are not games. These are not games. Yeah. <laughs> pottery is very, is a serious business, and if you have a bad back, you're, you're, you're. I'm gonna like legit put you in bed for two months. Oh my god. <laughs> But like maybe it's a very physical activity, Guy. It's not. It's not like in the movies where you just like. <laughs> I I am curious yeah. though. I really I really want to try. I I I I know that it's hard, but like I want to feel it. Like I want to feel how yeah, hard it is. I mean, I'm I'm fuck. I'm, I want to quit everything and just be a potter. So <laughs> I I'm I'm I had to say like I'm suspect. I'm biased. Awesome. Guys, I need I need to go because I need to eat before the next uh, thing which is in one hour yeah so. we can we can uh, wrap this up i think this was uh this was a nice little gathering um thank you all for coming thank you everyone yeah, yeah. yeah was bye. Bye. bye i'll see you next time bye bye, bye. bye. bye.